In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O Heavenly King, O Comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in each of us and save our souls. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Greetings and best wishes to all of you in your homes. And I'd like to, again, um, address this short message to the young people of our parish. It's very important for me as the pastor, as the spiritual father of the community, to try to help some of the young people that are in our homes today that are being idle because of the epidemic and the quarantine periods that we are facing in our homes. I've received several messages about from people, from young people, and they were asking me things about their faith. And one of the things that I wanted to share with you today was about the importance of you as a young person to be able to witness your faith. These past few weeks we have been doing these short presentations about the church and about Easter and about the meaning of the resurrection and the celebration of Pascha 2020. We also said something about the Pentecost of 220, and this is very important to us. But when we celebrate this understanding of Pentecost, and then last week we celebrated All Saints, it was very important for us to understand that we, as the church to get today, are the we celebrated the birthday of our church. And in celebrating the birthday of our church in the beginning of the church here on earth and an and organized church, it's very, very important for us to understand that all began, though, with the grace of the Holy Spirit, with the light of the Holy Spirit coming down upon each and every one of the disciples and apostles of Jesus and then on to all of us from generation to generation. It's so important for you to understand that we become the living body of Christ. We become then the vehicle for us to witness Jesus Christ here on earth. It's you individually, you and I together as a church that go out and proclaim the greatest message of all messages that the world has ever known, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus says to us, if we believe in him, we must, we must love God with all our heart and all our soul and all our mind, and we must love our neighbor as we would want our neighbor to love us. Our embrace of mankind is one of love. The church has embraced the, the glory of God's creation, mankind, with love. And that's why you have to understand that you are part of this wonderful witness of love that is given to the world so we can proclaim Jesus Christ as our Lord, God, and Savior. I wanted to share with you just a reminder about Pentecost. And Pentecost is when we see the apostles gathered together, and then all of a the sudden they have these fire. Fire comes upon each of them, and it gives them this inspiration of having the light of Christ within them. And they can go forth with all the courage and all the strength and all the, the love that they had of Jesus Christ to preach the message that Jesus shared with them of eternal life, of being part of his kingdom, about being saved through his wonderful and glorious words. So my beloved brothers and sisters, young brothers and sisters, this series is going to be about our witnessing our faith. I want you to think about this as you are home. Each of you are able to do all kinds of wonderful things 
in your homes to help and to assist not only your moms and dads, but your brothers and sisters, and then maybe your neighbors next door, or some members here at the church. Think about how wonderful it was just a few weeks ago when we asked everybody to donate some money so that we can prepare sandwiches for all the people that work at the hospitals in Anne Arundel County. We sent over a thousand sandwiches on behalf of you and me to all these wonderful doctors and nurses and orderlies and, and, and cleaning people and others who were there at the hospital taking care of so many people in need. This is what we do as Orthodox Christians. We share and we witness Jesus Christ to the world. I hope that you will continue to watch this, and I hope that you will share with me some of your questions that you might have about how we, as Orthodox Christians, witness our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a very important theme, but don't forget, don't forget, it's for us to witness Christ. It's each of us, each of ours responsibility to witness His love and to share that love to others. As you witness this light glowing here, remember the light? Remember the light of Pascha? Remember how important it was to light Christ in us? It is the Christ that we want to ignite and to light in you. We want the light to come upon your heads as it came upon the disciples and apostles of Jesus. So that this light will be not only in, on top of your head, but within your heart. Because that's what we as Orthodox Christians do. We continue to light that light of Christ within us. And we must light that light every single day, every single moment, because our job is to love God with all our heart and all our mind and all our soul and to love our neighbor as we would want our neighbor to love us. Have a blessed afternoon, and we'll talk soon. Thank you.